Hey everyone, I am Chase, a Rocky Mountain HVMC, giving you a closer look at the Liat X-Frame Hybrid Knee Brace. Alright everyone, thanks for checking in. Today we're giving you a closer look at the new X-Frame Hybrid Knee Brace from Liat. Now Liat came out with their X-Frame Knee Brace a little while ago. It's been around for some time, but if you go to the product page, if you look at rider reviews, it's been a popular knee brace. A lot of riders have a lot of great things to say about it. And here's a couple of things about the X-Frame or the X-Frame Hybrid that to me stand out. It's a well-built knee brace. You're a carbon composite frame. It's a comfortable knee brace. And it's also inexpensive compared to some of the other braces. You're going to be 400, about $450 for the X-Frame Hybrid for the set. There's some premium knee braces out there that cost $400 each. So it's a good price point. Again, it's built well. Read Rider Reviews. Don't take my word for it. See what other people are saying about it. But I think that's what's so appealing about the X-Frame and why it's been so popular. But now you have the X-Frame Hybrid. And looking at it, you can see the big difference here is that they did away with the kneecap protection that you have on the X-Frame. And the X-Frame brace is not going away. It's still going to be around. You can watch the product spotlight to see that one in full detail. But that's the big difference is it got rid of that kneecap protector. But don't freak out because they still give you kneecap protection. But the way they're doing it now is you have this sleeve and they have this Airflex armor gel that's underneath here. And then you have a hard plastic protector on the outside. So this is CE certified for impact. So you're still getting impact protection with the brace, but you can say it's just separate. And I was a little bit confused when I first heard about this and saw why they you know, decided to do this. And here's the two reasons that they gave me. So first of all, it's a little bit more low profile than the regular X-Frame. And what I mean by that is that the kneecap protection on the X-Frame, and I would agree with this, is just a little bit bulky. It sticks out a little bit too far. When you bend your knee, there's a pretty good gap between the rider's knee and the actual protector on the outside. So for riders that maybe have bigger legs, if you're wearing a tighter pant that has more of an athletic fit to it, it might make the pant feel super tight over top of the knee brace. So they want to make a little bit more low profile also, for multi-sport athletes, is the other big reason. If you're after a knee brace that you want to wear for other activities, but you don't want to have to worry about taking the kneecap protection on and off because maybe you don't need it for whatever else you're going to be using it for, that's something that you don't have to worry about with the X-Frame Hybrid. But if you want the kneecap protection again, put this on just like you would a knee brace sleeve underneath it, put this on over the top, you're good to go. So that is why they have the X-Frame Hybrid. So if you're looking at the two, that is something that you'd want to ask yourself. There also is a price difference. These are going to be about $60 cheaper than the regular X-Frame. But overall, like I said, it's a rock solid knee brace, especially at that price point. Now, as far as fitment goes, this is very important. You want to make sure that you use the sizing guide. Look at how they ask you to measure your knee and do that. Once you've taken those measurements, then order the size accordingly because with any knee brace, you want to make sure you get the fit correct. This thing can't do its job 100% if it does not fit you correctly. So when you put it on, what I always tell riders is when I put a knee brace on and I bend my leg, I like to feel the contact between these pads here on the inside. I like to feel those contacting the inside and the outside of my knee. I don't want it too tight where it's going to rub me raw and it's going to be uncomfortable, but I definitely don't want to have a gap between my knee and these pads when my knee is bent. So that's how I can tell that a knee brace fits me well, so that's what I would recommend. But also what is nice is that Liat does include with each brace three different sets of these paddings, or excuse me, these pads that go, again, on the inside of the brace. So if you put this on and you feel like, ah, you know what, I need a pad that's going to be a little bit thicker, they have two different sets or three total, so you can interchange those. You could do a thin one on the inside and a thicker one on the outside. Again, that's just to help you customize that and get the best fit possible. But keep in mind, we do have our fit guarantee, so if you buy this, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new, unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways in your first exchange for the same brace in a different size or a completely different brace, just to make sure you do get the size and the fit that you are after. Now, one other thing I do want to mention with fit, that is really just going to be for the riders out there that have bigger legs. I have a 16-inch calf diameter, and so for me, having a knee brace that's low profile is important. Because I have had it where I wear, I've worn a knee brace before where I tried to put my boots on and depending on what boot I was wearing, I had a hard time buckling those things up. So if you have larger legs, here's what I would say about the X-Frame. Looking at the bottom down here, it's not, I'm not going to say it's really thick, it's not an overly bulky design, but it's definitely not as low profile as some of the other options that are out there. I'm going to say it's kind of right in the middle. So if you are looking for something that's super low profile, 
might not be the best option, but if that's not something you're concerned with, then this is gonna be a great fitting knee brace, super comfortable. So we talked about the construction, carbon composite. What I do like about the X-Frame though, is if you look at the kneecaps up here at the top, you still have pretty good give there. So when you do put this on, you strap it down nice and snug. I like having a little bit of flex there to help that conform to the leg so you fit the shape a little bit better. So it's got good, it's, it's still rigid, but definitely not as rigid as some of, the all, some of the other just full carbon fiber knee braces that are out there. As far as the strap design goes, you've got four straps. These are numbered, you will notice, so when you put these on, you, won't, you wanna put these on in the order that they are numbered. That's important, that will help the knee brace stay in place the best. And here's one thing I like, but also something I think could be a little bit better. The two middle straps right here, you can notice, actually ha rotate. So you have these little buckles or, or loops that you want, if you want to call them that, that are riveted on. So those rotate, which I like, so I can get that strap exactly where I want it. The upper strap, I don't have that much, you know, I don't have a problem with. However, this lower strap, you notice how it doesn't rotate. So when I put this brace on, being a shorter guy, about five foot seven, it feels a little bit long to me. So when I put this on and I, and I do, and I, you know, strap down this very bottom strap, for me, it sits a little bit low. I wish I could get it a little bit higher on my calf, but I can't because it does not rotate. But again, that's a preference thing. That's just my issue that I have being a shorter rider. But aside from that, it's a good strap design, very comfortable. The pad on the inside, super comfortable as well. It's not gonna absorb sweat. So aside from that, the fit, everything else, I like about this brace. As far as the hinge design goes, it's an asymmetrical hinge, and you do have metal gearboxes for durability. But asymmetrical meaning it's not the exact same on both sides. Obviously, with the, with the leg, you know, the anatomy of the knee, it's not going to be, it's not symmetrical on both sides. So they do that just to mimic the natural shape of the knee, try and keep this in place as best as possible when it does bend or does rotate. Again, that's just to help stay with the knee, give the most support possible no matter where it's at. Also, hyperextension stops. This brace will come with a five degree stop installed. In other words, it's going to lock out about five degrees before it gets perfectly up and down. You can adjust that if you do want to. They have other inserts. You can do five degrees, 10 degrees, 15 or 20. And these are the little red inserts right here. They give you an Allen key so you can change these out from your house. Um, I haven't done it before, but I, I have heard it's pretty simple to do. But you can interchange these. So if you do want the brace to lock out earlier than say five degrees, so maybe you've had a, an injury before in the past, and instead of the knee brace locking out here, you want to lock out a little bit sooner. You can adjust that by simply just putting one of these different inserts in there. So overall, with the X-Frame Hybrid, I'm a fan. I think at this price point for what you're getting, I think it's a great knee brace. If you do have questions or comments, we want to hear those, so make sure to leave those below. To pick one of these up, you can click on the link or head over to rockymountainatvmc.com. But if you are looking at this and the regular X-Frame and you're deciding which one you're going to want, remember there's two big things that I would ask. One, do you want the more low profile option where you get away with, you get rid of that knee protector, but you still have to remember that you have to wear the knee brace sleeve. So, you know, it's kind of a give and take in that category if you ask me. And also, are you a multi-sport athlete where you want to be wearing this for other activities where you don't want or need that kneecap protection? You don't have to worry about taking it on or off. Those would be the big deciding factors. And of course, like I said earlier, you do save about $60. But if you have more questions or comments, leave those below. Again, RockyMountAtvMC.com to pick yours up. Order over 75 bucks, you're free. If you like this product spotlight, we got a lot more just like it. So get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel and stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.